I forgot to stop recording. Okay, so here we go, going to the infirmary. Lost like 15 or 20 seconds, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I see, thank you. The boy disappears behind the door. I can't go and check on him, Oh, The poster says pets not allowed, but you know, I've seen stray mad cats in the garden. Shh, someone might hear. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well then we just need to put C back in the <laughs> infirmary again. I forgot about that ending. Okay. Let me set my rewind point. A wonderful day, isn't it? Yee. I don't remember this place. My class should be, my class should be among these doors. Class A1. I think it should have a guy in front of it. I forgot, what, what class are you in? Oh, it's A1. Why can't I go in? Let me in. Oh, did I read it wrong? It was A2? Or no, I think you have to talk to someone. I'm sorry, I'm a bit lost here. Have you seen class A1 somewhere here? Why, yes, the very first door leads to A1. But you can't get there without a pass. Then, where can I get it? My friend from D3 had one. Go ask him. Fetch quest. C, D, I think he said D2. Pass to A1? I don't have one. What? And you can't walk over these, so you can only talk to the people that are... Kept in isolation until summer. But you. Let me tell you a secret. If you open the very first door with white door pass, it'll get you to A1. Yeah, but I don't got no white door pass. <coughs> the student's head explodes into a million pieces. His brains are scattered all over the floor. The students continue to browse the web on his phone despite losing his head. If that ain't a commentary. Organ harvesting in progress. A pass? I'm so sorry, I already gave it to the girl from F4. You definitely should go there. E, F. Why didn't you come sooner? I've already lost my pass in a bet. Why don't you go to C2 and beg for it? And C2, C2. Give me the pass. You want a pass? 
If you take my trash, I'll give it to you. Accept the offer. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Acquired trash. Okay, where do I go to put the trash out? Found my door pass. Yay. Finally. My head is spinning after all this running. I go to my place. Someone taps my shoulder. Psst. Ani. What took you so long? I thought we were going to check homework before class. My bad. I ran into some trouble on my way here. Oh, really? Wiltshire, Warhol, no talking in class, please. Henri loudly clicks her tongue. We are so sorry, teacher. You apologize too. I'm sorry. All right. Attention, everyone. We have a new student in our class. Please introduce yourself. Hello. There's no name that can define me, but you can refer to me as C. A very good boy. I am the god of this world. The class explodes with laughter. Do not be afraid. I won't be staying here for long. Take your seat, Mr. Wordsworth. The class starts. I try to focus on the teacher's speech. Ahem. Today our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, you're now able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data, as the name implies. It's speculated that soul cubes are just smaller omnicubes, which raised a controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are omnicubes, then aren't we just meat armor they control? I'm sure you have heard this kind of news. Just like any data storage, soul cubes can become corrupted. That's where the trial comes in. Du -du 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 -du. Trials exist for helping the defective. Their cubes will be formatted and debugged. Our school is proud to certify that it's usually one person a year, but sometimes it's two. So basically we kill people once a year, maybe two people once a year, you know, no big. As you all know, the annual 75th trial will be held quite soon, which all of you will attend for the first time. Who can explain the purpose of the trial? It's for correcting the defective. All right. The trial exists for the sole purpose of providing help to our students. A public vote among students and teachers alike will be held to determine a defective student among us. Tell me, who has a defective cube? Anybody? Remember, it's someone who will amount to nothing if not provided help. Now, class, how do we avoid cube corruption? We go to school. We abide the rules. We socialize. Very good. Now, let's proceed with the lesson. It's lunch break. I look at Henri. We always eat together, after all. She looks like she's about to cry. Did something happen? Oh no, I forgot my wallet. Even though I wanted to buy us a meal today, I'm so worthless. Don't say that. I'll buy us something. Really? You'll do that for someone like me? You're not at fault, Ani. It happens to everyone. Yay, I'll be waiting on the rooftop. Yep, see you later. Let's go, Seth. Let's buy some apples and activate the warp point while we're at it, shall we? Only apples? I don't really feel like eating much today, sorry. Actually, I feel like I could throw up any moment. 
Okay. Point activated. Canteen. That new boy looks so lonely. Maybe he needs a good friend. Like you, for example. A goddess shouldn't sit with commoners like us. You're the main character here. Better sit with someone more important than me. Our god is over there sitting all alone. Poor thing. Oops, I think I'm glued to the sea. Don't you feel sad that C is sitting there all alone? You should go join him. I wanted to do something that'd make me special, but ended up procrastinating again. Oh, if that ain't a mood. You look so pretty today. You're cute. I wonder who will be chosen for the trial this year. Oh yeah, this game has random battles and they're not actually worth fighting because you don't get any EXP or anything. Sorry, the place beside me is taken. I'm pretty sure everyone wants to sit with you. Who would have thought our god is so tiny? I can't believe you don't have an F-book account. Everyone wants to be friends with you. Enjoy your soup. My imaginary friend is already sitting here. Please find another place. Yeah, okay, sure. Sorry, I'm waiting for a friend to come. I'm certain I saw your photos on a cat lover site. Who would have thought? I wish I had a haircut like yours. I'm not worthy of talking to you, princess. It's cold by the window. You'll catch a cold if you sit here. The meal today is especially delicious, isn't it? C is poking at the canteen food. It's poking back. Um, hi again. Oh, hello. Mind if I join you? No, not at all. Henri's waiting for me, but talking for a moment wouldn't hurt, right? You seem a bit better. Yes, it could have been worse if it wasn't for your intervention. The nurse patched me up a little. She said I'll recover soon. Although I still appear to have trouble with verbal communication. I see. Is it true that you are the god of this world? Hold on, let me do something. I forgot to change the game. Ah, no wonder you're curious. That is the only thing I am sure of since my awakening in this form. In fact, I tried to get rid of this vessel immediately. But who would have known that a human's preservation instinct was this strong? I couldn't put a scratch on myself. I was afraid of the pain. Curious, right? Not only that, I do not know the reason why I am here. Needless to say, it is not only a great inconvenience, but also a waste of time. I want to get rid of this body as soon as possible, but there is surveillance everywhere. Kind of ironic that the rules forbid self-harm, but not violence, isn't it? That's why I'm looking for the way out. Say, do you wish to aid me? When I return to my heavenly domain, I'll definitely... Look! She's about to jump! What? Really? That Eiler? Eh? Everyone's gathering by the windows. Somebody gasps. Unknowingly, I find myself running outside. What's with the commotion? I can't see. I know her. It's our class.
class representative, Scarlett Ayler, an all-A student and a student council member, <laughs> an athlete and an unrivaled beauty who always gets what she wants. Yeah, definitely. An ideal person. We never really spoke, but she was always the one to establish discipline in our class. Now that I think of it, Scarlett Ayler was a scary person. Unapproachable and reserved, she gave off an air of intimidation by her very presence. Why would such a strong person give up on her very life? Now we'll never know. Artificial sun shone upon the school, the students and the ambulance workers who arrived. Scarlett Ayler was no longer in this world. Oh, okay, I didn't even go and see Henri. Okay. Mad Cat is resting on Bennett's lap. Meow. Shh, Bennett is sleeping. Join in? Yeah. I sit on the sofa for a while, listening to static noise. not in here. Oh, maybe I can get the violent room ending here. Bam. Hi, Aiden! So, you didn't forget about our piano lesson. How could I? Good. Well then, come join me. We shall play a prelude to events about to unfold. I join Aiden at the seat. We play a prelude. Nice picture. Thank you for spending time with me, Aiden. It's my pleasure. So unlocked now. Bam. Felix is deeply focused. He always takes things he does se seriously. Man, I love this game so much. Now, carefully cut through the membrane. Ah, hello there. Shoo, shoo. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Come on in. Since I've tutored Felix and Bennett on first aid, they've taken interest in unidentified life form dissection practice. Isn't it wonderful? Bennett refused to use anything but the chainsaw to cut through the specimen, so I had to kindly refuse his offer to participate in the classes. by now. Dang. I never got the Violet Room on my first playthrough, so I really want to see it instead of just the CG for it. Oh yeah, I read all of that. I already read all that. Nothing. Nothing. I think... I spoke to everyone I needed to speak to, so. I'm exhausted. Let's have a little nap, shall we? I exhaustedly cover myself with blankets, falling asleep as my head hits the pillow. Here we go. Die to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, a eh, the pangs of time, the rub, for in the pale cast of troubles, and arrows of outrageous fortune. 
Oh, hey. Nice little Easter egg there. Ahem. Hello there. Apologies for that little speech test. Is that Shakespeare, though? <laughs> Your language is a bit tricky, but I'm a fast learner. You? Don't look so surprised. It's simply the form your mind gave us. Seems like despite your initial bravado, you're subconsciously afraid of us. So we took a more masculine form, although the concept of gender does not apply to us. Feel free to, to refer to us as Frey from now on, if you feel like it. After all, our appearance right now is one of a male Pythia. Oh, am I dreaming? Technically, you are. However, the fact that we'll meet the next time you go to sleep, and the next time after that remains. I slumber by day, and wake up by night. I? Wasn't it us just a moment ago? Isn't it easier for you to talk to me this way? Yes, I suppose so. You look sullen. A girl from my class committed suicide. A pity. Were you friends? We weren't. Acquaintances? Not really. A complete stranger, then. Should it matter? Don't put it like that. We're classmates. You are sorrowful now that she's gone, but you couldn't care less during her lifetime. Have you ever had a conversation? No, I just... She was so unapproachable. An ideal person. What can a miserable person like me talk about with someone this perfect? Damn, throwing the shade there. Thinking that you gave up completely. That's the same as being indifferent. No, it's not like that. You're exaggerating things. Only so that you'd be honest with yourself. Wouldn't anyone be sad if somebody died? I am afraid I cannot understand that. If that person wasn't important to you up until this moment, why do you feel down? No, even worse, you feel obligated to feel sad. Deep inside, you know have no reason to be. Why not to be true to yourself? Is human empathy such a foreign concept to you? Empathy, huh? You humans have a rather twisted understanding of it. If death of some specimen you weren't involved with bothers you, then why not bawl your eyes out whenever you see a piece of meat on your plate? That animal must have suffered a lot more than some misunderstood teenage girl just to make your supper delicious, no? It's not the same, you'll say. I didn't. But in the end, it is. You're all animals. Yet your kind puts yourself above all. Why is there a child playing a horror game? I'm 25, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, your, uh, your voice. Hey, welcome to my stream, voice. Oh my, what a plot twist. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognize the name for a second. Then I was like, oh, it's voice. <laughs> Who would have known that the concept of empathy applies only to your fellow humans? Ah, uh, it truly really never ceases to amaze me how you humans love to make a mountain out of a molehill. You'd never understand. How can you know the sadness of losing someone if you and Pythias were all connected? And united, you stayed even when somebody died. For us, when somebody dies, the connection is lost forever. Hmm, do you really think it was always that way? That all Pythias willingly gave up their very egos for the sake of becoming one with everybody? Frey laughs. It echoes throughout the mind space. Stay in the fog if you wish to. Isn't it safer like that? Although I would love to converse more, it looks like it's time for you to open your eyes. Open your eyes, Link. Who can it be at this hour? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Give me light. Wise choice, good evening. No, it can't be. Since when did you start to use doors, Umbrella Man? It's deoft. <laughs> I figured it'd be nice to be polite once in a while. Especially since I'm using this vessel. Let's have some tea, shall we? <laughs> it really is, Dio. Uh, sure. Come in. Now, now, what's with the suspicious look? I've merely come for a friendly chat. You see, I've received no orders from my employer recently, so I took this chance to have a small vacation. So, you're slacking off? Don't put it in such an unsightly way. Believe me, even a workaholic like me can't let this opportunity pass by. After all, such a chance comes once in an eternity. Yes, this art style is like exactly my aesthetic. Umbrella Man chuckles at his own words. I wish I could draw like Aunt, Aunt Aethere. Wonderful, isn't it? I suppose it is. You always seem so busy. And believe me, I truly am. But enough about me. How is school? Well, I helped a classmate today. Oh, you needn't have. Why so? I'll spare you the details, but there's something I know for a fact. That boy was destined to die in that alleyway. That's just cruel. C is a good person. He doesn't deserve it. It's not about deserving, my dear. It's just that his sole existence threatens this world. I'd put it that way. As long as he exists, this route is doomed for a bad ending, no matter what you or your beloved puppeteer do. I hope I made myself clear. Anyhow, I'm glad to see you in high spirits despite your worsening condition. Is it that bad? It wouldn't be an exaggeration if I answered with a yes. The circles under your eyes have gotten darker, skin color more pale than ever. Have you been eating properly? I don't feel like it recently. My, my. You have a doctor living under one roof with you. Why don't you pay him a visit? Or are you afraid to admit your condition has been worsening even more? You're right. I really should. Yet you haven't done so. I don't want to cause anyone any more trouble. Ah, so that's the reason you're reluctant to take measures. I see, I see. Oh, youth, I used to be young too once, you know. That sounds weird when you say it wearing a boy's face. Hush, this is merely a vessel after all. Pay it no mind. Anyhow, friendly chat aside, recently the number of abnormalities in this dimension has been increasing. Screens and door locks malfunctioning, world expanding, people missing, a living hell. Do you know anything in regards to that matter? Have anything to tell me, perhaps? Well, the Oracle has... My, my. Don't tell me the slumbering god has awoken. Might it be that your body has begun to collapse under the pressure of the Oracle's corpse rotting inside of you? When you put it in such a light-hearted tone, I'm almost not worried of what'll eventually happen to me. Death is merely a release, my dear. Still, leaving this world might be too early for me, sir. Umbrella Man shrug shrugs. Well, it is your choice, as it was your choice to stop taking the pills. I don't need those anymore. Right, right, you don't. Just keep it in mind that the Oracle is no longer the divine being that you met three years ago. For it's not but the rotting corpse of a god, no longer sentient nor self-aware, with your very mind given its shape. A parasite of your mind. That's what my employer would say, anyway. And look at the time. I'm afraid I must leave, or your humble puppeteer will scold me for robbing you of sleep hours.
Right, Mr. Seth? <laughs> See you, Umbrella Man. Stay well. Umbrella Man leaves. Then I think I can go to bed now, right? I fall asleep the moment my head hits the pillow. And here we are again. Welcome back, Miss Wiltshire, to the nightmare hellscape. Sorry, I don't feel like talking. Then you wake up and he's there. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> well then, I won't burden you with conversation. Instead, how about a bedtime story? Ah, and don't stand so far away. Come, sit beside me. Sorry, I'm not very comfortable around you. Is that so? Well, there's no helping it. It's all a dream, remember? So, make yourself at home. I reluctantly sit beside Frey. Now, back to the story. Do you know of the tale of Ink and Paper Princess? In our land, during the pre-Oracle era, it was a part of a psychology test. It was made to be unfinished, and the one who read it had to write the ending themselves. It's surprising how much one can learn about another person just by having them write a few sentences. Want to listen to my own version? I don't have the other choice, do I? So much for free will, right? Well then, the pitiful ink black princess was looking for minds alike, who ended in a prison of Paper Kingdom. But the story didn't end here. Time passed, and Paper Princess herself came to visit the prisoner. The two became acquaintances shortly after, and Ink Princess was freed from imprisonment. Ink Princess taught Paper Princess writing, and no paper in the city was blank anymore. They obtained power known as knowledge. Paper Princess couldn't be happier. Yet, having spent so much time with Ink Princess, she became stained with Ink Princess's pitch black color. Day by day, Paper Princess became more and more soaked in jet black ink, until she was indistinguishable from the Ink Princess herself. That would be the end of the story. She fell asleep, huh? Are you sure that's ink? <laughs> By the way, hello there, Mr. Seth. Is that how Miss Wiltshire calls you? <laughs> what a joke. You must be thinking that you're in control. What are you even here for, I wonder? You aren't even supposed to exist in this world. Ah, uh, I know, you must be looking for answers. But I'm afraid you won't be getting any. Because, you see, Miss Wiltshire is an unreliable narrator. <laughs> it's getting worse. What time is it? Oh no, Henri hates when I'm late. Hurry, use the warp on your cube. Are you sure? Of course, silly. Skipping school is against the rules. You should know better than anyone. Today we will get up, go to school, and go back to sleep. Remember? Oh yeah, right. On my cube, right. There we go. There's Henri. Henri! Henri doesn't even turn her head in my direction. Um, Miss Warhol? I lightly tap her shoulder. Henri finally turns around. She's on the verge of tears. Charlotte, Charlotte Wiltshire? Yes? Why didn't you come to eat lunch with me yesterday? I waited and waited and waited. Until everyone left. Until the bell rang. But you never came. Arnie begins tearing up again. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't quite myself yesterday. I went home straight after that happened. You know. 
Henri locks me in a hug, hiding her face in my sweater. Her hold is so strong I can barely breathe. I thought you didn't want to spend time with me anymore. I thought that you hated me. I thought, I thought. I pat An Henri's head. There's no way that could happen, right? Friends don't abandon each other. Yet you did the opposite, you liar. Please forgive me. I won't do that anymore. Do you promise? I promise. Yeah, someone's a little needy. Yeah. You'll have to swallow a thousand needles if you break it. Yeah, she's really needy. <laughs> Is he in the infirmary? Oh, oh, that's not the infirmary. <laughs> Aw, oh, damn, I can't go in there. Oh, God. Nope, I'm escaping. You don't give me EXP, you don't give me anything, so why bother? Even though the art's really nice. Oh, I wasn't... Okay, I guess I didn't need to come here. Yeah, it really is just random battles that you don't get. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna use my anxiety pills to heal in case I get ambushed again. I think the only ones that are worth taking time on fighting is, like, the people that are alone. I support you in anything you do. Good luck. Can I take a photo with you? I want it framed on my bedside. I wish I was as cute as you are. Am I worthy of talking to you? Okay, let's go in the library. The fuck's wrong with their face? <laughs> Welcome to Hello Charlotte, where everyone is a horror game. <laughs> everyone is horror. <laughs> a lovely girl is talking to me on a lovely day. I'm so happy. I don't think they're... How I became successful by procrastinating. Quantum physics and pictures. How to peel an apple without hurting yourself. 99 reasons you shouldn't leave home after school. Unconventional ways to use internal organs. Mathematics. Welcome to Hello Charlotte. Everything doesn't make sense. <laughs> Library catalog. Why you should say no to learning by heart. Get a job by playing apps. One reason you should stay outside after school. How to treat canteen food poisoning. Delicious warm soup recipes. Ah yes, just another normal day at school. Sonny over here? No, she's not. I gotta go get food from the canteen. I forgot what this room is. Oh, the white colt. Equality for everyone! Shared toilets and cleaning rooms for both boys and girls! to think that I appear as a pyramid to these people. That's fourth dimensional perception for you. Everyone's a pyramid. Let's not disturb anyone.
It's a painting by a famous artist. Socialization is the key to see another day. Oh wait, second floor. And then she wants the unhealthy food. Or maybe I just grab, no? Okay, then I'm gonna go up to the freaking Oh wait, was C in here actually? No, he's not in here. Our God is a loser. The student blushes, turning away. You look pretty today. Are your friends doing well? The class today was so fun. Oh, our princess has arrived. Good morning. Who even makes you these dresses? They make you look classy. Eh, you didn't bring any toys with you today? Even though they're so cute? You always keep your notes in check. I wish I was as diligent as you. Let's do our best today, too. Let's start our class. Today's topic is the world. The house is the world. Elements changing their location on a mount monthly basis. The houses ha the house has eleven floors in total, with its structural using elevate tours and wrap warp the word the whole is the world Te technology all transportation in the house is carried through the food in the house is generate generated by omnicubes the waste is disposed of by omnicubes the may the materi materials necessary for production are gener Generated by Omnicubes. This is hard to read. <laughs> by. F Where do I start? By 400%. By Omnicubes, whose intelligence exceeds humanities, it is sp speculated that the 11th floor is populated entirely. <coughs> Not again. Are you okay, Miss Wiltshire? <coughs> I'm alright. I just need to use the bathroom. You may go. No, get out of here. Is it third floor? No, I'm fucking coughing up ink, teacher. <laughs> oh yeah.
tap doesn't work. The tap has greenish water coming out of it. I vomit into the sink. It becomes black from the ink. <laughs> I notice C standing by the sink nearby. My head must have been spinning so much that I didn't notice him. C washes his hands and face again and again, frantically pressing the soap dispenser button over and over. I carefully place a hand on his shoulder. It stiffens at the touch. Stop it. You'll get blisters on your hands. I can't. I've washed off the most of the soap, but I still feel dirtied. Soup? My fellow students smashed my head into a warm soup. Oh, it must have felt terrible, horrible. Yes, in fact, everything I touch feels contaminated. I just can't shake off the feeling of disgust. I see. Suddenly conscious of myself, I remove my hand from C's shoulder. How about you? You don't look well. I've known better days. I have to admit. But I'll manage. Set this there for me. Is that so? Oh, the lesson has ended. I left my bag there. See you later. I wave to see. He waves back with a, a little uncertainty as if testing the new gesture. All right. I've been streaming for two hours now, so I think I'm gonna call it the night for the stream. Oh, thank you for coming. Especially thank you for coming, boys. It was nice having you here. Thank you for coming, Nana and Gabe. And if Jackie's still here, thank you, Jackie. Oh, I will see you guys later. No problem. If you need a male VAL help. Okay, that sounds great. All right, then I'll see you guys all later. And thank you for that. Bye-bye. <laughs>